Hey guys, Wedgerox here from Rocket League Mods. So this is the um, set initial setup appendage. So this is because the classes have changed. We need to have a new way of doing it that isn't the old way because that doesn't work anymore. So what you're going to need to do is follow the link in the description and you'll get to this page. So these are the dummy classes. So these are the, um, they're like, they're like pretend classes. So these are the ones we say we have and then Rocket League contacts whatever the game and tells it they've got these classes spawn in whatever so inside of this is a the ball class so you can put it in the map and then when you go into the game you can say alright this is where the ball is supposed to go and then a ball will spawn there so now if we download zip which is what you need to do to put them into your UDK you have to save it open it up right click it extract find it wherever you extracted it so inside this folder you have these two. You also have this. These are irrelevant, you don't need them. So these two you have to copy and then go into your UDK folder. So this is my UDK. Opening up file location. So this is an easy way for me to get to it. And then I just go into the development, SRC. And paste it in there. So now UDK has the ability to access these um, scripts. But it currently doesn't know what they are. It's like they haven't, it hasn't deciphered them yet. So it doesn't have access to them. You have to go into UDK game or whatever you've named your project. So I called mine UDK game. And then go into config and find default engine, not default editor, default engine. And inside here you'll have, you'll have these two lines, but we need these as well. So this is telling it that you're adding another package. So a package is just some, um, a group of things that you want to be included in the engine. So you're including Project X and TA Game. Now TA Game has classes in it that depend on Project X. So you need to make sure Project X is imported first, otherwise TA Game will throw errors saying that it can't find certain things. So then if you exit that and then open up UDK, you should get a box that says Scripts are outdated, would you like to rebuild? So what this is doing right now, so the reason that you get this, this message is because even though it has a reference to everything, it has to compile them so that it can be used in the game. So the way to check if it's in the game already is to go into script, which is just in the UDK game folder, the script. And then if you find it in here, then it exists. So it doesn't currently exist. If you wanted to recompile, you delete the ones that you want to recompile. So if I rebuild, I'll probably get loads of uh, warnings, yep, all good. But now if you look inside the folder, Project X and TA Game are now there. So basically all this means is if you wanted to rebuild it, you'd simply delete these and then run it again. So now you can exit this, this is just a compiler, this is um, done now. So now you have to open up, well you don't have to, you should open up UDK Editor. It's already been built so you don't have to go into it again. And now, I don't need to check that. You'll get into UDK, and you want, you'll probably be on this. You want to go into actor classes, type in underscore TA, and then if everything comes up, then you'll know that the classes have been compiled properly. So everything in here is to do with Rocket League. So player start underscore TA is the Rocket League player start place. So if you wanted to do a goal though, you have to unclick placeable classes. So this is how you see everything. The goal volume is basically, if I take this, this is a brush. So this is just like things I can build stuff with. So you can do different shapes, whatever. Um, if I click this add volume and I can find, I should be able to find goal volume. Here we go, goal volume here. So this is now a goal, right? You can see it, it's there. So if I double click on that, this comes up, here we go, and this is all the goal settings, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much it for this initial setup. Be um, I just wanted to show you the goal theme because that's why you have to uncheck placeable because everything else can just be dragged into the scene. So if you click it and then drag, here we go, now I have a player start, right? Whereas a goal volume can't be dragged in because it's just... A volume type. It's a type instead of an object. So that's it and 
I hope this has cleared up any confusion.